Hi, everyone. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, welcome. How are you? Today was the cross day. Why? And and the uh, world world press freedom day. World. Uh -huh. Yeah. Great. Great. Good to hear that. <laughs> okay. And tomorrow, tomorrow will will be will be the the Star Wars day. Really? You like Star Wars? Yeah, I like Star Wars. I'm a big fan of them. I have watched all their movies. You and too. also the series, Mandalorian loves it. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm a big fan of it. Thank tomorrow, you. tomorrow will be the, the day, the fourth day. <laughs> well, let's may, may, let's for the force to be with us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. Now Great job. Thank you, Miguel. So I hope that everyone is safe and sound, all right? Today is Tuesday. Today is not Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Hmm. Let me check. Why isn't this thing changing? Okay. Let me add another one. So today is <clears throat> Wednesday. May. Two thousand twenty-three. Okay, I'm still thinking that today is Tuesday. Mi cerebro todavía asimila que ahora es martes, right? Tuesday. So let's check. Broccoli is good for you. We are officially in class number ten. So tell me, how are you doing with the platform? Como van con la plataforma, right? Have you been working on section four? Hemos trabajado en la sección cuatro. Yes. Yes, Guadalupe, perfect. ¿En qué nivel va la sección cuatro? ¿En qué lección? Mm, finalice. Great, excellent. <laughs> Good to hear that. De no copia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just kidding. Let's check. Um, uh, what about the the other ones? What's wrong? All right. Remember, you need to follow it up. You need to advance as much as you can. So let's check. Mention at least five vocab five vocabulary words from the food pyramid. Okay. I'm gonna pick and choose. Yo escojo. Let me ask Oscar Cruz. Mention five vocabulary words. Okay, five vocabulary words. Uh, <clears throat> candy. Uh huh. Jaggard. Cheese. Uh, lettuce and crackers. Mm -hmm. Very good, lettuce and crackers. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's go with the next one. Tell me one sentence using the vocabulary learned. Yesterday we were practicing with this. So let me ask Walter. Dígame, Walter, una oración utilizando ese vocabulario que aprendimos ayer. Puede ser de las que tengan su cuaderno, porque sí estuvo conectado en la clase de ayer. You just didn't participate because you've been working. No? Okay. So let me listen to Cindy. Tell me one sentence. But, ayer me dio sus oraciones, ¿verdad, Cindy? Bye. Entonces, ahorita inventase una en su cerebrito. And let me know. I don't like fish, eggs, and beans. Perfect. Simple as that. I don't like it. Very good. Thank you. Then, once again, we have the vocabulary, right? Yesterday we were practicing with it. Remember that we have a the pyramid, it has a lot of no, not a lot of, but we have seven 
No, we have six in total, six steps, all right? They are full of different type of meals, right? Foods. So now we have a conversation. Tenemos una conversación. How about some sandwiches? And I think that yesterday we practiced with this one. We're going to do it yet again. Vamos a practicar de nuevo la pronunciation de esta conversation. Creo que ayer, as far as I remember, solo algunos, all right? Eh, pudieron practicar, not all of them. So let's check. Uh, we're going to listen the video from the platform. Vamos a escuchar el video de la plataforma. <coughs> Section four is pretty short, so we cannot advance that much. Bueno, y todos van a estar como oyentes, qué barbaridad. Ya llevo cuatro personas que me van diciendo que solo van a estar de oyentes. No happy. Teacher, no happy. Let's check. To explain is this concept of let me share it with you Vamos a compartir la platform. let's pay attention please count and non count precision title how about some sandwiches which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting let's listen and practice what do you want for the picnic hmm. how about some sandwiches okay we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Do not copy anything from the video. No copien nada del video porque yo lo tengo de una manera más explícita ya en la PowerPoint, all right? So basically, anything <laughs> that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count, as you can see on the chart. An egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart, you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Please uh, pay attention, a lot of attention to the pronunciation of count and non-count. Okay. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No. We don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. So now, let's go back to the PowerPoint. Take into consideration the pronunciation of the different count and non-count nouns. All right? So let's practice once again with this pronunciation, because probably is the only one that we're going to have during the whole class. So let's check. Let's just start with. Uh, vamos a ver quiénes son los que me escribieron en el chat box que solo van a estar escuchando. Okay, bye. Entonces vamos a iniciar con Alison Juárez. 
Alison, you are Amanda. Vamos a ver quién más está escuchando. Ok, entonces no puedo escogerlo a él. Vamos a... Uh, let's go with... Vaya, Alison es Amanda. En... José Pedro, you are Adam. Action. José Pedro, are you there? Walter Muñoz, do we have Ma Walter Muñoz? Hello, hello, Walter. Tiene abierto el micrófono, pero no le escuchamos. Hello. All right, everyone, let's check those audios, all right? Yo no he sacado a nadie, right? FYI, for your information. I haven't taken out anyone from the class. Okay, everyone, listen up. Vaya, les voy a dar un secreto que de seguro la mayoría ya conoce. Existen unos cables que son para conexión directa a internet. Yo lo utilizo, all right? Lo utilizo, pasa por toda mi casa, la conexión directa hasta mi cuarto. El cable ahorita no lo estoy utilizando porque tengo el internet normal. Pero si me fuera a fallar, yo lo conecto y se utiliza en That's Normal. La mayoría de nosotros utilizamos esos cables en el trabajo. Right? Si queremos utilizar la impresora o cualquier otro instrumento, utilizamos el cable de conexión directa a internet. This is not the exception. Esta no es la excepción. Utilicémoslo. Y si no lo tenemos, pues veamos cómo we save some coins. Ahí podemos guardar algunas monedas y compramos el cable. Right? Because it's pretty useful. Es muy útil. Ahorita solo tengo la participación de, los, de las únicas cuatro personas que usualmente me participan. All right. And good for them because they are practicing. Qué bueno por ellos porque están practicando. But the rest. Pero y los demás. All right. Makes no sense. No tiene sentido. So let's try to push ourselves. Tratemos de presionarnos un poquito. Lo repito y cada clase lo voy a repetir. Let's go with Oscar. Then you are Adam. Oscar. Action. Alison. And Adam. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how how about some sandwich? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's have Victor Ramos. Victor, you are Adam. Let me check. And Guadalupe, you are Amanda. Action. Victor, are you there? Ah, no, Victor dijo que no podí. Ay, ayúdame, señor. Ok, no me go with. Um, then Miguel. Ay, thank yeah. you, Miguel. You are the only yeah. one here. Action. You <ríe> Yo estaba are... esperando que me dijera. Porque, ya, <ríe> usted, el debateador no, emergente. Me <ríe> <ríe> yeah, well, here we go. What okay. do you want? What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have uh, some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Perfect. Nailed it. Thank you. That's correct. Thanks a lot. Now, let's go with Cindy. Cindy, eh, un ratito se va a poner el mostacho y va a ser Adam y al ratito se lo quita. 
Sorry to be Amanda, double character. Eso se necesita, Cindy, tener doble character. All right, let's check. No, Cindy, I'm going to work with you. I'm Adam, all right? What do you want for the picnic? Uh, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, um, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Thank you, very good job, Cindy. Let's move on with the next one. What are nouns? So let me listen to Oscar, please. Read the information. A noun equals. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. In, in other words, place. many things. In, sorry. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. Perfect, excellent. Thank you so much. All right, so if you are talking about a cell phone, this is a noun. If you're talking about a computer, that's a noun. If you're talking about a Guadalupe, Miguel, Oscar, those are nouns. So as the information says, everything that surrounds us are nouns. Most of the things, all right? La mayoría de cosas son nouns, except feelings, right? So there you go. Let's copy this information on your notebooks, please. You don't know if tomorrow I'm going to ask you what are nouns, okay? Now, let's move on with the following. This, this the, the previous information was the same exact information that you have on the video, right? We have some and any, count and non-count nouns. As you previously listened to the audio, como ya escuchamos previamente el audio, the video, I'm gonna let you alone, right? Voy a dejarlo solo que ya vayan de un solo directo con las questions and answers. So, in one hand, with the questions, we have Alison, Stephanie. Por un lado tenemos a Alison, Stephanie haciendo las preguntas de la primera columna. And then we have Miguel answering those questions. Y Miguel va a contestar esas dos preguntas. Me va a regalar, Miguel, las dos opciones, right? Yes y no. Action. Okay. Do we need any ends? Mm, any eggs? Do we need bread? Eggs. Eggs, okay. Yes, let's get some eggs. Mm -hmm. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Perfect, thank you. Listen up, everyone. Teacher, ¿por qué está entre paréntesis y siempre tenemos que pronunciarlo? All right. It happens like an exception. Sucede como una excepción, right? Usted fácilmente puede decir, let's get some, y hasta ahí. 
¿Por qué? Porque la persona anterior ya hizo, ya puso el noun, el countdown al, al final de su pregunta, right? Entonces se sabe de qué estamos hablando. Pero si usted quiere decirlo de regreso, that's no problem at all. No hay ningún problema con eso, right? Como en el caso de Miguel que dijo, let's get some eggs. Eso está correcto. There's no problem whatsoever. Pero también podemos decir, yes, let's get some. That's it. Let's go with the second column. Vamos con la segunda pre, eh, columna. Let me listen to Cindy, please. Count nouns and non-count nouns. Count noun, a net, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. Non-count nouns, bread, lemonade. Thank you. And let's have Guadalupe with a specific and general. Specific. I am eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. That's correct. Thank you. Now, let's move on with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente. De nuevo la primera columna. Oscar, I'm gonna ask. Yo pregunto. No, vamos a dejar a Miguel que pregunte. Miguel, you ask. Both questions, ambas preguntas, y Oscar, es su turno de practicar both sentences, both answers, ambas respuestas. Action. Okay. okay. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we not any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get, let's get some bread. No, we will not need any bread repeat oscar we don't we don't excellent thank you perfect now you. you're welcome guiding examples guadalupe help me out with the guiding examples please number one i need some apples number two i don't need any bread thank you based on these examples let's go with the practice time cindy read the instructions First, work individually. Second, create at least two sentences using count and non count nouns. And third, share your sentences with the class. Perfect, thank you. All right, listen up. Estas sentences que yo puse aquí como ejemplo son bien basics, pero ahorita la mayoría de los que están en las clases ya pueden manejar un poquito de advanced level. Un poquito, right? Así que no solo me agreguen tres cositas en la sentence. Try to, to expand your sentence, okay? Add more ideas to your sentence. Let's work on it, please, too. Remember that in here we are still using simple present. Recuerden que no nos estamos saliendo del presente simple.
All right, when you finish your sentences, you are going to send them through the chat. Al finalizar sus oraciones, me las van a enviar por el chat box. All right, so take into consideration that. No me envíen primero una y después otra. Envíen number one and number two en el mismo mensaje, right? Solo que hay que hacer la diferencia. Number one, number two. Jose, do you have a question? Este, no, teacher, perdón. Este, sí, me parece que se me había, se me había ido este, la luz. Entonces, este, ahorita acabo de volver, entonces me acabo de volver a conectar por eso. Perfect. Thank you so much for letting Ay, me... Entonces, no sé qué están haciendo ahorita. Vale, perdón. Le, explico. le explico brevemente. Ya llegamos a la parte de los... Nouns contables y los no contables. Count nouns and non-count nouns, right? Las, los nombres contables y los no contables. Entonces, eh, veíamos que un noun, José, un noun puede ser una persona, un lugar o un objeto. Right? Muchas cosas que nos rodean son nouns. Entonces, teníamos los contables, right? como eggs, sandwiches. Y también tenemos los no contables como bread, lemonade, water, Soda, right? Sugar, sometimes we don't count sugar. Entonces, basado en eso, tienen que hacer dos oraciones. ¿Ok? With count and non-count nouns. Con los nombres contables y los no contables. Como los ejemplos que aparecen en la pantalla. Ok, muchas gracias, teacher. Everyone, you may start sending your sentences if you want. Ya pueden empezar a enviar sus oraciones por el chat box. All right? Para irla chequeando, los que ya finalizaron. Okay?
Now your sentences have arrived. Ya llegaron sus oraciones. Vamos a iniciar con Oscar. I need some milk and strawberries to make a milkshake in the morning. Very good. I don't need any candy in my dairy diet. Very good. That's correct. You don't need to. I need some grapes. Esta es son de Guadalupe. I need some grapes, apples, watermelon, peaches, and strawberries. I don't need any bread, cream, and fish. Perfect, Guadalupe. Perfect. Miguel. We need some lettuce for tonight's salad. And yes, I don't need cranberry juice for the sangria. That's correct. Thank you, Miguel. Very good. Perfect. Alison, I want some two books. Mm -hmm. Quiere alguno o quiere dos libros? Pero no puedo utilizar el sum y darme directamente cuánto quiere. Eso no se puede. Right? I don't need any juice. I want... But some potato. Ok, revisemos esas dos oraciones, Alison. No sé si las copió en internet, pero they are not correct. Right? We need to check up the grammar. Tenemos que chequear el grammar y que tengan algo que se llama subject verb agreement. All right? Que la oración tenga sentido con el sujeto de lo que estamos hablando. Ok, so let's only wait. Solo vamos a esperar por las demás sentences de sus compañeros. All right, so that's it. Eso sería. Estaríamos esperando las oraciones de Cindy y las de José. Let's check. Victor, I need some lemons and tomato. Es que no sé si esta cosita... Uh... Yeah, and tomatoes. Very good. I need some lemons and tomatoes. Very good. You're missing one. Solo le falta una, Victor. And then we have... I don't need fish. Very good. Veamos las de Cindy. I need some milk because I like milk a lot. Milk, uh, se me trabó la lengua. I need some milk because I like milk a lot. Antes de la, de la, del and, Cindy, vamos a agregar coma. And every week I usually drink milk and I always make natural yogurt with milk. Is that true? Wow, excellent. You are a powerful woman. Great job. I don't need any fish because I love to eat fish when I go to the, to the sea. That's the perfect time to eat fish. Ah, very creative. Wow, qué creativa, Cindy. Great job. Very good. Me dio contexto, right? Very good. That's great. And there you go, everyone. All right. It's, it's just to be... Or it's just trying to apply what you have learned. Solo de tratar de aplicar lo que vamos aprendiendo. Okay? Perfect. Now let's move on. What do you have for breakfast? In conversation, fish for breakfast. Antes de... Bueno, creo que de hecho va primero la conversación. So I'm going to play the video from the platform. So here we go. Let's pay attention. Voy a compartir la plataforma. Share. Ok. Let's pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. 
eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now is your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Now let's move on again with the PowerPoint. Let's check. We have the vocabulary first. So we have the US eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam or jelly, right? Perdón, is this yeah, no, ham. Ham or jelly. Then we have Japan, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea, all right? Pickles, some pepinillos. And then we have Mexico, which is the one that it's, it resembles a lot of Salvadorian breakfast. El de Mexico es el que más se parece ser de Salvador. We have eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. So let's get started with, and vamos a iniciar con Guadalupe, please. The U.S. breakfast, el desayuno de United States. Luego Cindy, el desayuno de Japan. Y por último Miguel, el desayuno de Mexico. All right? Uno tras otro, all right? As soon as Guadalupe finishes, we go with Cindy. As soon as Cindy finishes, we go with Miguel. Action. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, or jelly. Japan, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea. Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. Perfect. Let's go with the next round. Jose Pedro in eh, the U.S. breakfast. El desayuno estadounidense. <laughs> estadounidense, all right? O americano. No, no me gusta decir americano. Estadounidense, mejor. All right. Eh, luego, Victor Ovidio, mm -hmm. el desayuno de Japón. Y luego, Alison, ya no tengo a Alison aquí. Ok, vamos con Oscar. Oscar, el desayuno de México. José, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? No, teacher, no. Perfect, action. Eh, age, eh, bacon, eh, those uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia la tercera? Perdón. Toast with butter. Toast uh, butter. Mire, with. Um, orange free. With. With butter. With butter. Uh, orange juice. Uh, orange juice. Um, coffee. Uh, James, uh, James. Jam or jelly? Jam or, or jelly. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you okay. so much. Let's Japan for with... breakfast, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea. Mexico. Eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, 
coffee with milk. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, let me see if I'm missing someone. Now, let's move on. Okay. Aquí no está la practice. Pero si la van a hacer. You are going to create what you usually have. Van a crear oraciones con lo que usualmente ustedes desayunan. For example, me, myself. I usually have a one boiled egg, toast with butter, coffee, and orange juice. Uno, cuando le pagan, come todo. <laughs> El resto de la quincena, <laughs> agüita. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's try to do the breakfast. Creen su propio desayuna, su desayuna. Desayuno y háganme saber, all right? Let's write it down. Eso lo van a hacer hablado, así que escribámoslo bien, please. Las oraciones se las pedí para ver cómo estamos con el grammar. Pero ahorita ya vamos con el speaking de nuevo. So let's write down. Escribámoslas en el cuaderno, please.
Okay, have you finished your breakfast? Hello, no, okay. Yes. Let me listen to you, Victor. What do you have for breakfast? I usually eat breakfast bean, eggs, cheese, cream, and oranges. All right, excellent, very good. That's correct. What about you, Miguel? What do you usually have for breakfast? Uh, teacher, uh, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. How do you say casamiento, rice and beans? Mary. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I'm Mary. <laughs> I eat Mary. I, I, I have another question. How do you say lucha libre? Como le dicen también en el, el casamiento. Lucha libre. Sí, esa es una forma simpática. Me le pone un poquito de lucha libre. No, 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 eso, eso dicen, no se puede traducir. No, ¿verdad? Sí. No. Sería fight, pero no tiene, no, no tiene, porque usted le llama lucha libre al, al chile, ¿o qué? No, es una manera graciosa o de broma de llamarle a, al casamiento, pues como el arroz y los frijoles van revueltos, ¿verdad? entonces es pura lucha libre. <risa> ok, ok, got it. Eh, sí. No, solo entonces, sería rice and, beans. Rice, rice and beans, o rice with beans. Rice with beans. Okay. Myself in the morning love coffee with milk, two fry eggs, rice and beans, and fry ban banana or plantain. Uh, plantain. Well, you can say plantain. It's okay. Plantain. Okay. And fry plantain. E another coffee, a cup of coffee. <laughs> yes. Perfect. That's great. Thank you, Miguel. Great breakfast, pretty healthy. What about Cindy? What do you usually have for breakfast? I usually eat for breakfast eggs or plantain, beans, cheese or cream, tortilla, and a big cup of coffee. <laughs> Great, excellent, very good. Yeah, que viva el coffee. <laughs> Ok, y después nosotros todos eléctricos. <laughs> ok, let's check. I usually drink a lot of coffee in the morning, right? Only in the morning. At noon, ya... No, aquí en engaño en el mediodía estoy tomando café también. <laughs> ok, let's go. Uh, let me listen to Guadalupe. Antes de que nos regañe, Guadalupe. <laughs> no, teacher. Ok. I usually eat scrambled eggs, beans, cheese, Toast and a cup of coffee every morning. That's correct. Perfect breakfast. Let's go with Jose. Jose, what do you usually have for breakfast? Um, platine, I also have platano, uh, cream, uh, and um, coffee um, without sugar. Sin azúcar. <laughs> yeah, without sugar, exacto, así está bien. Justo, okay. justo al, al, al hígado. Right. Perfect. Thank okay. you, Jose. Welcome okay. to the club. Join the club. Una sea el club, okay? Let's go with Oscar. Oscar, what do you usually have for breakfast? Um, this is my favorite breakfast. Really? Interesting. Yeah. To you. Okay. I like eat eggs, bananas, and beans. So, mashed beans, como frijoles molidos. Uh huh. It's mashed beans. Yeah, and I always drink a black coffee without sugar. Yes. And always eat some sweet bread. Always. Ah, oh, really? Aunque sea hojitas. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. Uh, that's okay. my favorite. Oh, really? Oh, oh my God. Those are my favorite. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you, y'all. And congratulations. Podrían criticarnos porque todos tomamos café, pero al menos no comemos solo pupusas al desayuno, right? So that's great. Perfect. Now, let's move on, everyone. Si hubo un grupo una vez que yo les hacía esta pregunta, and everyone was telling me, one dollar of pupusas. <laughs> and I was like, oh, comen pupusas. Literally, that's the only thing that they mentioned. All right, 
fish for breakfast. We have Sarah and Kumiko. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have rice and soup. Perdón, we usually have fish, rice and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Error. Bueno, saben que dicen que también en Colombia por lo menos siempre desayunan con caldos. No desayunan como nosotros, ¿verdad? Los plátanos, frijoles, no. Desayunan con caldos como sopita de pollo, sopita de res, sopa de tuétano, and things like that. Quizás así estaríamos más en forma. Let's check. Let me have the next ones. Uy, ya pasé. Let's go with Victor. Victor, you are Sara. Oscar, you are Comico. Action. We don't have Victor. Are you there, Victor? Sí, quizás se le fue la connection. Okay, so then let's have Miguel. Miguel, you are Sara. Oscar, you are Comico. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, fries, and soup. Fish for breakfast? Mm, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. New things. New things. Yes, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Let's have the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Guadalupe and Pedro. Guadalupe, you are Sara. Pedro, you are Kumiko. Action. Oh. Okay, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come into house. My family always has Japanese breakfast on Sunday. Breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> really? What do you have? Um, where, where usually have 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 his re and soup. Repeat the oración de nuevo. We usually we we usually <coughs> we have fish have fish rice rice and soup and soup fish for a breakfast that's interesting sometimes <laughs> sometimes we have um a salad salad too and we always always have grand ten ten well I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Bravo, excellent. Thank you, both of you, for your effort. Hey, Guadalupe, just don't remember. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, I know it's difficult, that one. Yeah. Right? Don't worry. The practice <laughs> okay. makes perfection. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with Carolina, Cindy, Carolina. Cindy, you are Sara. Alison, Stephanie, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always had Japanese star breakfast on Sundays. Really? 
What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and so. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Perfect, bravo, thank you, both of you. Now, let's check. Um, we, were go we are going to stop the class in here, and I want to know if you have any questions about the platform, or if you have any issues with, a, with an exercise, do you? If not, see no, right? If you don't have any issues, no tenemos problema con la platform. I'm gonna let you go now. Please work on the platform. Ya tenemos una o dos personas que ya finalizaron la sección cuatro. That's, that's excellent, all right? So you gotta keep on working on that one. Pero tienen que seguir trabajando en la sección cuatro los que todavía no la han finalizado. A más tardar mañana, esa section should be finished. Debería estar terminada ya para mañana, all right? So without further ado, thank you so much for coming in today's class. It was a pleasure to see you all. Please rest a lot and take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. May the fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you, Miguel. <laughs>